we're going to be talking a little bit about what I learned with family. Ohana means family, good fiber, and I'm so thankful to be able to call you my family on a energetic and spiritual level. I feel so thankful to connect with beautiful souls and to see this sense of family be created. And I wanted to just share some of the lessons I've learned living in a family and creating different kinds of families in, in a term, the idea of these communities being a family-like reflection or system of their own chosen family if you will and uh yeah so i guess i'll talk about actual family i'll talk about um you know soul family and then maybe community which is kind of like soul family so we'll see where this video goes but <laughs> hopefully i can keep it on topic and provide as much value and insight as i can so yeah I wanted to start off by saying that the family that we are born into so important for us to get to know them even if you don't like them especially if you don't like them though because I do believe that family if we think about it energetically we're made from the DNA codes the energy codes the light codes of those ancestors that have begot us right we've just been this mishmash of our great grandparents and our great great grandparents, our grandparents are, and our parents coming together to create us. And why did they come together? I think we could kind of say love <laughs> in some way. It is this pursuit of pleasure, joining with the other person and enduring through the pain. So, family, that blood relative family learned a lot from them asking questions about my grandparents what they grew up with what the situations surrounding them were because it's given me so much insight in my own life and own patterns that i see happening whether it's with relationships or jobs or just reflection on my own inner being being able to understand and connect with my actual blood family and seeing those patterns those energetic cords have really helped me understand more of my own inner being. And of course, blood family does not end where the blood ends. I think that those who have been adopted or brought up by um, peoples that have not birthed them still are playing in a huge important role to the energetic patterns that are being created in your being and also the beings that will come after you. So family is something I've learned a lot about, you know, being able to connect with family, uh, hold the space with the family in such a way that it is actually enriching all of our lives. All right, of course there's family drama. Wherever there are a group of people, there's going to be drama. Probably. Most. Mostly. But being able to take the good parts, observe and absorb as much energy as you can will help you so much along your own journey because you'll be able to better connect with people, understand your own patterns, see how you can navigate through them, the options that have worked, the ones that haven't worked. It is so important to connect with your family on this level and to see where you can support them. I think this is where the whole security, the foundation really begins with this support system found in our family, usually from a young age. And even if we weren't given that gift of having a strong supporter, structural support system growing up with your family, seeing and identifying, you know, what made it unstable? What were those energies, those patterns that you were seeing that were causing this disturbance? Because it is so important for us to leverage those things, for us to understand that everything, we agreed to this situation, we agreed to the family that we were born into, we agreed to come down here on earth for a mission. And so when we understand that our family was a part of that mission, that they were the biggest people to train us in the youngest and most impressionable years of our life, we can learn a lot. Of course, there's a lot that I could go on with family. We share the pain um, very greatly with the family. You know, somebody is, loses a life and that is mutually felt between, through, in between the family members. And I think it's so important to 
have that support system, even if it's only one family member, that is family. Now we're going to move on to soul family. And I believe soul family, this it connects to our friends. It connects to the people that we choose as family. And these really resonate with your soul. Again, this concept of almost like two souls are resonating. And they're resonating in such a way where they connect. Like they connect or they just mesh in such a beautiful way that that's family to me because that meshing is creating a more solid net, if you will, a safety net for all of the souls to fall into and feel safe. So chosen family, like fam, I'm so blessed to say that I have, um, I have some of the best chosen family people ever because it's you, um, right? I am so thankful that I'm able to connect with amazing souls. I get to choose to share that pain and I really believe that family share pain like that is the biggest thing they share the burden of the pain that is shared amongst them whether it's you know one family members going through it they're all gonna be affected by it and so allowing yourself to see you know what is going on here how can I you know just be the space holder transmute that pain allow it to just be there and you know, be present with it, understand and connect because I feel like the best part of the human connection is knowing that you are not alone, even in the most painful times, like you are never alone. There are always some people, there are beings like you out there who are looking to connect with people like you. And that, my friend, is the beauty of soul family. And when you call down and if you ask, if you just pray to God, like God, I am lonely or God I I'm like this is what I literally did I prayed I was like God, I'm lonely I'm so lonely I feel like I am suffocating in isolation and I just want a friend I just want to know that there's a soul out there like me who feels this pain and it's okay and it that's it like that's really for me soul family are those who have gone through similar trials or tribulations and it doesn't have to look that similar but they're able to overcome it in such a way that inspires you or assists you with overcoming yours and lifting that burden that may be mutually felt. So, uh, yeah, something like that, right? Something like that. I've learned this from, from my family. I've, I feel like there's so much I'm still learning. You know, sometimes I feel uh, like, you know, some family members don't accept me because what I do is kind of out there. And I'm, I'm blessed that there are those that support me openly and wholeheartedly. Oof, I feel so thankful that, um, you know, there are places where I could go. Um, and if somebody needed my help, I pray that I'd be able to help them as well. Now <laughs> we're going on to community. Community is like the bigger idea, the bigger picture of family, right? Community is when you're really tapping into this beautiful space of shall I say, shall I say, you're tapping into this beautiful space of mutual connection, of realizing like, wow, there are many souls out here that I can connect with that feel this energy, that want to just build something, build something that's secure and strong and to bring it up. And I think that's the most beautiful thing ever. I love community. I love it a bit too much. I need to sometimes retreat back and go in my shell. And I think it's important to have a balance and to be able to communicate. I feel like family first is when we learn how to experiment with our emotions and our communication and expressing ourselves in a way where it should be Ju you know, not that judgmental, though we're all humans and we all have judgment, so we do it anyways. Um, but we can learn so much from our family if they do judge us. You know, we can learn so much from the ways that they communicate with us because, believe it or not, we pick up on those patterns. If we don't, even if we hate it, we're like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to be like my mom. I hate how she communicates. It's the worst. Well, you need to, uh, you need to, you need to acknowledge that. You need to be present with that because if you bring that energy, that's going to be manifested. The things that you pay attention to are the things that you're attracting. So bring awareness to it. Have compassion. Bring forgiveness. Family, for me, has taught me such big lessons with forgiveness. Such big lessons with forgiveness. I'm going to cry just saying that. Like, okay, but yeah. I've learned 
that you have to forgive because these are the variations of your soul in a way. They are trying, they're doing their best. They are literally doing their best. Yes, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And yeah, some of them are really bad mistakes. Like, really bad. But they happen. And they happen, surprisingly, <laughs> more than I probably know. So, forgiveness. Because when we hold on to that, the only thing that we're doing is holding on to that energy that we don't want to hold on to. Because we feel like it's so bad. If we let go of it, then it's going to come back. And you need to forgive that. You need to allow yourself to forgive it because you don't want to manifest that. So don't hold on to it. It's okay. So I guess end of story is to forgive those family members that may have done the unforgivable but been in a place where you just can't. I could go on a story about how I was a rival with my cousin for a very long time, but I think you get the message. I love my cousin now. I'm so thankful for the ability to forgive and to live and learn with my family members because we're all growing at the same pace we're all gonna die around the same time if we live to see that old age you know what i'm saying but yeah thank you so much for tuning in i hope that this video helped you in some way and i really do appreciate it let me know in the comments you know what did you learn from your family what are you learning from your family and what do you feel like you need to forgive i'd love to know Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Namaste, God.